Hey Collective, welcome back to my channel. We are here to tap into the energies of you and your person. So Collective, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless. Okay Collective? All right, let's get going. Let's get cracking and see what's going on with you and your person. We have occupation. So somebody want to put the work in. They want to get the job done. They're being very focused and dedicated and creating some type of new beginning, some type of change. Yeah, change lovers energy here. Yeah, they want a brand new beginning with you because they view you as this mature woman here. This is the empress energy in this deck to me, the mature woman. Yeah, so they want to put that work in. They want to get it, get it. Or this could be you. Focusing on your career, your job, your your craft, your hobby, okay? Some of you guys do like to sew. Mm -hmm. But this is also, too, giving me a nurse energy. Some of you guys could be nurses. And you're very, very focused on your career as a nurse. So you really don't have time for your person or time to date or something like that. You just focused on your, on your come up. On your responsibilities in life. Some of you guys have children. Some of you guys have to take care of parents, of older parents or older grandparents or something like that. So, yeah, it's just, <laughs> you ain't got no time. You ain't trying to check in on nobody. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Some of you guys could be trying to retire is what I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody's trying to retire, believe and succeed. Yeah, you're very focused, collective. <clears throat> focused on, for some of you guys, you could be trying to build a business, trying to get into business, trying to change from a business or something like that. Trying to build on your craft here. Yeah, yeah, new vitality. You're doing something new, collective. Yes, you're starting to believe in your talents is what I'm hearing. Yeah, clarity of belief. You starting to believe in your talents here. And you got a new vitality of creating, getting the job done, getting something done. But your focus has changed from your person onto your craft or your job or your career. <laughs> okay? And that feels good. That's wonderful. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, collective. Let's see what cards I'm going to get. Let's use these. Holy Spirit, whatever message you have. So I heard <laughs> for some of you guys, I heard Stella got her groove back. But this is feeling like getting back into something that you love. And you're not really paying your person no mind because it's like, shit, you got a whole new path in life you're trying to go down. Alchemist here. Yes, this is giving me magician energy. You have all the tools that you need to in order for you to create, create your reality, your abundance, your new beginning here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you did the shadow work. You didn't let nobody know until you came out as the high priestess. Yeah, you have a lot of spiritual responsibilities here. Mm. Yeah, honey, boom. So, you know, I mean, you're creative. You're manifesting. You're getting things done. You are in this new energy of this is, this is a new me, a new day, a new world. Okay, so I don't I don't see nothing in here about your person. <laughs> Highly focused on self. That's that's beautiful, collective. Holy Spirit, what other message do you have for the collective? It's like you really closed out a cycle with your person. And now you're going after your dreams and wishes. Yeah, angel of strength is here. You have the strength and courage to believe in yourself. Yes. Thinking woman, yeah, you have the strength and the courage to believe in yourself because you know that you are capable of creating or manifesting this new life, this new thing that you're 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 embarking on. Mm hmm It's a whole new world. You closing out cycles to begin cycles here with this new vitality. Yes. Honey, boom, we have caring connections here. So somebody do care for you. 
Somebody do love you, but that cycle is over. It's closed. You moved away from them. Mm -hmm. But they over here trying to get your attention, but you're focused on the, the beautiful things in life, the things that make you happy. You ain't paying your, this person, your person, no, never mind. Uh-uh. Yeah, some truth came out. Okay, belief and clarity. You found out the truth about something, about your person, or about this connection with your person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys, y'all found out a thing or two about a thing or two. And you just decided to go your way. You know, do your thing. You ain't worried about what they doing and who they doing and none of that shit. Uh-uh. And that's a beautiful energy to be in collective. But your person, yeah, they trying to get your attention. Uh-huh. They trying to be brave and courageous and shit. To try to get you to see them, notice them. Mm. So collective for, for you guys are not in connection with your person. This is a separation with this world energy and, and caring connection. So you two are not together. Collective, you're not together. So when y'all broke up, that's when you focused on yourself. Nope. See, you're not together. Mm -mm. And now you, you're free. Okay, you're, you're vulnerable and you're free. You're taking charge and action over your life. Mm-hmm. Open. Open to reach your goals and your dreams and your wishes here. That's what you're reaching for. You're reaching for the stars, baby. Because now you're free. You're free from a connection or free from your person that, you know, some of you guys, they were holding you back or you wasn't able to really flourish and grow and elevate in life like you would by yourself this is why you ain't paying them no never mind some of you guys went back to school are you thinking about it mm -hmm. we have romance and connections here so yeah your person still love you they still want you but you being guided by the by your guardian angels yeah guardian angel strength and guidance yeah yeah, you're being guided and protected by your guardian angels from this person but they love you or they want to come back into a connection with you mm-hmm yeah, but this romance and connections. And again, he's standing behind her. Again, you have your back turned. You see, look at this. Collector, male or female. You're not paying attention to your person because you focused on your own abundance. <laughs> you focused on your own paper. <laughs> you gonna pass this test and you focused on your own paper, honey. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Okay. Look, angelic protection. Mother, Father, God. So, yes. Holy love. Yes, you are very loved by the universe because you passed the test. Even though we have many more to come. But this test right here, you passed. And this is how you're able to elevate and grow. You have the strength and the courage to do so. Mm -hmm. Beautiful energy. I love it. Okay, let's see. Let's get an Oracle of E. Let's, I haven't used these in a minute. Let's get an Oracle of E. Holy Spirit, what other message do you have for the collective? What other message do you have for the collective? Let's see. We have Sticky Wicked. And then we have Magnific <laughs> Magnific magnificent me okay so let's see what that is let me get the book let me bust out the book what's sticky wicked let's see okay so sticky wicked is hold on it says proceed with caution it's a delicate situation but that doesn't mean there are any real danger. Just a reminder that it's time to pause, to reflect, and to appreciate all that you have now and all that you're about to receive. So now's the time to be very grateful and gracious to yourself and others because, baby, things done changed here. Things are changing in your favor. These are things are leveling up because you closed out cycles here. Closed cycles mean learn lessons. That's what you did. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful. I like that. Okay, so somebody could be 27 years old, 48 years old. Somebody could be born on the 27th of June, January. Okay. Okay, so Magnemus Me, it says, this is the time for your true nature to bloom like a cactus in the spring. You are nothing but a tall ball of love. And the only thing you really want is to love up on everyone. This is a good time to get in touch with your higher truth and free your generous spirit. Kindness, anyone? You see what I'm saying? This is a part of that level up with this new vitality. Because you learn lessons and close out cycles when it comes to love and healing. And that's a beautiful thing that you're embarking on. Your journey, your journey is... You're in a, uh, how should I say, um, you're about to go on another journey here. You ain't got there yet for some of you, okay? Because that full energy comes right after the world. So you're about to, um, you're being prepared to start something new here. You're getting the energy that you need from the most high in order to embark on this new journey with this new vitality here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like I said, some of you guys, I'm really picking up you guys going back to school. A lot of you guys are going back to school. And it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I like this energy. This is like a brand new beginning that you're doing for yourself. Okay. All right. So, Holy Spirit, uh -huh. what can you tell me about the persons, the collector's person? What can you tell me about the collector's person? How do they feel towards the collective? Because, honey, boom, the collective doing their own thing. How they feeling? Uh, they feeling blocked out for a pentacles. They feel you blocking them out because uh, for some of you guys, you're going back to school. They trying to figure it out is what I heard, though. They feel left behind. They feel lonely. Look, four Pinnacles, four of wands. Some of you guys could have locked this person out the house, could have blocked them. Yeah, after a fight, five of swords, because they were trying to do some more bullshit to try to, to win at all costs here. And you just said, fuck it. No, I'm not doing that. Some of you guys changed your locks. This is the reason why this cycle is over with this person. This is the reason why you're focused on your money, because shit. You ain't, you ain't, mm-mm. You ain't accepting nothing from this person. It's cold over here. It, it, look, King of Swords, I can't make this up. It's cold over here. You made a head over heart decision to block this person out of your energy and your life. And you couldn't be as happy as ever, nine of cups, to go after your dreams and wishes and things of the sort. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, to stack your money. Start businesses leave legacies be financially abundant and stable here yes some of you guys you realize that you're not in love with your person anymore and this is your soulmate ace of cups in reverse two of cups mm -hmm. yeah you came to the conclusion that you don't you don't want to be in love anymore you want your happiness sun energy leo energy here mm hmm a lot of water energy here so yeah this is very an emotion this is a very emotional thing that you had to do this is a very emotional state but you you remain a strong strength energy again leo energy heavy on the leo out here yeah hmm. yeah but you you don't want this no more yeah and this this is a painful ending but you just couldn't take now one more sword in your back. And you just said, fuck it, Collector. Look, nine of swords. Tired of wondering is what I'm hearing. Three of pentacles and the eight of wands. For some of you guys, your person is wondering if you got new love. Because you fell out of love with them. So now they up in their head, can't sleep at night because of all of the betrayal and shit. Or they feel as though you betraying them because you have another soulmate here. And you, you lost love for them. Or you don't want to be in love with them anymore. What can you tell me about this two of cups? Yeah, you're meeting somebody. You're meeting somebody else that brings you happiness, joy, fulfillment here. Mm -hmm. This person could be a Leo. 
or you could have met them in Leo season. Let's see. What's this Two of Cups? Temperance. Somebody that brings balance and peace to your energy and to your life. Sagittarius, a lot of fire here. Here we have King of Cups. So somebody that is emotional or is in control of their emotions here, but it has a lot of love. They Look, they have their cup at the ready. They ready to give this cup to somebody and they chose you, Collective. You have a brand new soulmate here. And your person that you're leaving, that you close this cycle out with, they all in their head in despair. Because you don't love them no more. You're not offering your love to them anymore. I heard the door is closed. The chapter is closed. World energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. What else can you tell me? We have the Knight of Wands. So now your person want to come rushing in. Mm-hmm. Because you're not saying anything, High Priestess. Using your intuition here. Yes, you want to invest in something else that's going to bring balance and justice to your life and to your energy, to your mind, to your soul, to your body, to your home. Yes. But the, what can you tell me about this Knight of Wands energy? Something is coming in fast. This is your past person. They want to talk to you. They want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. They could be reaching out to you on the internet, social media. Look, they want to fight Five of Wands. Because they fit, they they feel the competition. They feel as though they gotta fight for you. They gotta fight for this connection. They want victory and success with you. Yeah, five of pentacles, because they feel left out in the cold. They feel the loss of you. And now they're trying to manifest you back. Magician energy, Aries energy here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, they feel a certain type of way about this cycle being closed with you, collective. And they can smell that you are going to be with somebody because you are a prize. You have true love, but the ace of swords, God honest truth. You're going to have a brand new beginning. You're going to have a clean slate because you actually love this person and you have to take your love back from your person. Okay? You can have a brand new beginning with a king of pentacles, earth energy, queen of swords. You have to, yeah, you have to cut this person out because of their lies and their juggling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For some of you guys, after you cut this person out, your money came up, your stability, your abundance. It started to grow. It started to flourish here. Mm -hmm. After you cut this person out, for some of you guys, this person is losing a lot of money or losing stability here. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've seen that way over here. Yeah. Some of them could have lost a job. We have eight of swords. So somebody's stuck in their head. Because you're so defensive against them. Yeah, against their energy. Yeah, you walked away. You walked away. Eight, eight, that was divine timing. It was time for you to go. Yeah, eight, eight, it was time for you to go. Yes. Because you took too long, Knight of Pentacles. You took too long to make up your mind. But some of you guys, it took a while for you to have the money to move. That's if you was living together with your person. That's for somebody, that message. Yeah. Yeah, but now, chariot energy, four of swords. Yeah, you ready to heal. You moved away from your person because you wasn't dealing with this shit no more. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You made your mind up. And now they're coming to the understanding. Yeah, you blocked this person out, two of swords. Yeah, you, had a, you, you was at a crossroads as to how you, were to move, how you was going to move forward. But you broke... You broke free from that. You figured it out. You figured out how to move forward to end this cycle out with this person here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they are, they, they're not too happy. They're, they're very sad here. But it's making me feel like your person, they understand why you walked away. Yeah. And they're, they're pissed about it. Some of them is mad at themselves with this nine of swords and this five of wands. This is somebody that's mad at themselves. Mad at they self because they lost this true love. This real love, this pure love. Some of you guys could be in the twin flame connection. You had to walk away from your twin. Four of Wands. Mm-hmm. You had to walk away from your twin, baby. And that's why it took you so long to do so. Because, I mean, you had hope. You had faith that you guys could work it out. That things would get better. That, you know, things would start changing in love's favor. And it never happened. Yeah, it never happened. So you had to finally decide to 
cut your ties, and walk away. Four of Swords. Eight of Cups. You had to walk away. So, you know, that person ain't feeling... They ain't feeling too hot about that. So, but you have to do what you have to do, collective. And, you know, that's 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 just what your person going to have to deal with. They're going to have to come to that understanding. They're going to have to grow. Okay? All right, collective. This is the message that I have for you. If any of this message resonated, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.